posting a tool failed Jennifer and she has sworn never to use it again. Despite a lot of video, despite a lot of adverts saying Postino 2 is an emergency contraceptive and it helps to prevent pregnancy when taken within 72 hours after sex. She made this decision after trying it twice. Yes, she had sex the first time she used Postino 2. It failed her. She got pregnant. Later on, she tried it again. She had sex. She used Postino 2 and got pregnant. And after trying it twice, she made this decision. I was like, I am never, ever going to use Postino 2 because it has failed me. Good day, everyone, and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room. Today, we are going to be sharing with you the story of Jennifer, who um, Postino 2 actually failed. Yeah who posting a tool did not work for. So in this particular video, I'm going to be sharing with you reasons why that posting a tool is not going to work. And also, I'm going to be sharing with you what happened to Jennifer during the course of this period. On the 17th of March, 2024, like every other vibrant lady, Jennifer had plans for 18th of March, 2024. She had plans to finish up her research work, send it to her project supervisor and get it sorted out. So on the 18th of March, Jennifer woke up, woke up, but she was not in the mood to do anything on this particular day. All she wanted was just to be cuddled. All she wanted was just to be with her boyfriend. All she wanted to ju was just to be with someone that she loved. She doesn't. She was not just in the mood. She just wanted that cordo. She just wanted that hug. She just wanted to hang out with her boyfriend. She just wanted to be with someone that she loved. And she woke up. She also noticed some discharges on her pants that looked that was slippery, which was like, okay, it's a normal thing. So Jennifer called her boyfriend, and her boyfriend was like, I'm at home. You can come around. Then she got dressed, looking all glamour, glamorous. I don't know the English to use. Looking all good and sweet. She went to see her boyfriend and the mindset was for them to go for shopping, um, but buy popcorn, watch Netflix and chill. She just wanted to be cuddled in a duvet with a boy. That's what she just wanted. I don't know if she had um, sex at the back of her mind, but it's possible. So um, they went for shopping. They came back. They were watching some Netflix, chill, Netflix and all that. The boyfriend was already admiring the beauty. Let me tell you why that posting or two did not work. Posting or two will not work if the egg has already been released. Yes. So the reason why Jennifer's uh, posting or two did not work, it's possible Jennifer's egg was released already. What posting or does is that it stops the egg. It delays the ovulation. It's it like it delays the egg from being released. But immediately that egg is released you're going to get pregnant. Posting or two will not work. Okay? So this, uh, this, is, this is one of the sure reasons why Jennifer got pregnant. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I believe you are not aware and you are not informed. So that is why I am making this video to inform my audience. So if you are a young lady, you don't want to get pregnant, you are ovulating, you can try a condom. Try and avoid the so that the condom does not rupture or bust or something like that. Okay? So that is what I have to share with you. This um, also takes me back to the importance of a young girl, of a woman, knowing her cycle. Because when you know your cycle, you are able to prevent pregnancy. You are able to know when you are late. When you understand your body, it gives you charge over your body. And you are able to know when to avoid um, intercourse. You are able to know when to use protection to prevent pregnancy. You are able to know one or two things about your body system. So Jennifer was in the mood for having sex because she was probably ovulating and she did not know about it. So it's possible the last time she had, she got pregnant, she was actually ovulating. Okay? So that is what happened to Jennifer. And that is why her posting her to fail. So on this particular video, like I said, I'm going to be telling you, sharing with you some reasons why posting her is likely going to fail. So the first one is timing. So if you don't take that posting or two within 72 hours after sex, it's not going to work. So if you take it like four days after, five days after having sexual intercourse, it's not going to work. 
Okay. Then the second one is ovulation. Like I earlier said, if you are ovulating already, the postinol is not going to work because the postinol stop the egg from coming out. It stops ovulation. It delays it, not stop. It delays it from coming out. Then the third reason why postinol is not likely going to work is your weight. So speak with your doctor before taking postinol 2. The normal dose of postinol 2 might not work for you if your BMI is about 30 and above. Then the fourth reason is vomiting. So if you vomited within two hours of taking the postinol 2, so it's advisable you take another one. If you vomited within two hours of taking postinol, it's advisable you take another one. Then the fifth point is pregnancy. If you are already pregnant, postinol will not work. If the sperm has already met with the egg, postinol will not work. Because postinol is not an abortion drug. Postinol does not abort a baby. So take note of that. Then the other point is hypersensitivity. If you are allergic to any of the ingredients used in making postinol, Definitely, it's not going to work because you're allergic to it. You are reactive to it. Then the last point I have to share with you is having more unprotected sex after using emergency contraceptive. So if you, um, you've, had, you've taken um, emergency contraceptive after having sex, then after taking that drug, you went again to have more unprotected sex, thinking that that emergency contraceptive is going to work throughout that period. It's not going to work. Okay, because what the emergency contraceptive does is to delay ovulation. It's to delay ovulation. It doesn't stop ovulation. When you take it, it delays it, then it might come up again. So it delays ovulation. It doesn't stop ovulation. All right. So these are the reasons why that postinol is not going to work. Thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And also, don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. For all my returning subscribers, this is not Messi Mary saying thank you. Bye and see you in our next video.